Welcome to episode two of the Great British Barbecue Off. In this episode, any fin could happen as we turn up the temperature with a technical challenge. Dornan's Fish and Chip Shop have supplied our contestants with a fresh Brixham Gurnard. So let's see who has the flair to get a step closer towards the title and who is going to get battered. So we're going to fillet the gurnard, take two fillets off it, mm. then we'll just pat it dry and uh, season it up and stick it on a couple of cedar planks and uh, away we go. I'm going to keep it simple today and just uh, take the two fillets off mm -hmm. and I've got a, a secret ingredient that will be added to give it uh, the flavour that I'm looking for. So bring it right back to the bottom there and then just chop the tail off the bottom. That's that, done. All the insides will come out with it. I'm going to fill it and I've got a plank of wood. Sit it on that with some more wood <laughs> so it's nice and smoky. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit of a rub so it's like a chilli based rub, smoked paprika. Uh, Quite nice bit of salt and pepper, and then uh, just get it on the grill. So my secret ingredient, gurnards are, well, all, lots of fish. We didn't know what the fish was going to be, so I'm really pleased. But fish, particularly if it's got a, a strong fish, can hold up to lots of quite robust flavours. So I'm going to use, if you want to open that, Ben, I'm going to use my homemade garam masala. So we're going to have an Indian spiced gurnard. It's got lots of nice Indian spices in there, turmeric and cardamom and uh, all the, uh, the base Indian spices. A bit of oil, um, and then just make a rub for it. Marinate it for about, yeah, about that long. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm uh, gonna cook it on a cedar plank. My secret ingredient is lavender. Okay. Homegrown lavender. Mm. My secret ingredient is <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to say my secret ingredient is, is the wood. It's, it's my chef's tool and, and my secret ingredient. I mean, because you do this, what, what you use it for is the taste, so okay. that's my secret ingredient. Well, a little uh, error with the filleting. And the fillets are a bit thinner than I thought, but. So this is the Indian marinade. Because they're quite strong flavours, they'll, they'll cut through really quickly into the fish as well. And it'll just give it a nice warm flavour at the end of it. It goes nice with a smoky barbecue too. Now I've seen there's some tomato ketchup up there. If I've got enough time, I might make an Indian ketchup sauce. Let's see what we do with that, yeah. Hence why I needed the ramekin. These are cedar planks, 
and what we do is you soak them for about 20 minutes to get some water through them so they don't burn straight away and you just lay your fish on it and cook your fish on the cedar plank and it brings the flavour of the cedar wood through the fish very gently and cedar's quite a nice one to go with Indian as well because it's got a nice warm flavour to it as well. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a common question people ask, isn't it? You know, you take your fillet off the fish, but there's so much more left of the fish. So you've got a whole range of things you could do. You know, the most obvious thing is to uh, just chop it up into bits and then make a fish stock out of it. Make a good, that make a fantastic fish soup, to be frank. Um, it's perfect for a bottom of a, bottom of a sort of a fish soup base. Or uh, fish velouté, so make a sauce out of it. And you can also, you know, take the rest of the meat off there and... Um, maybe breadcrumb it or panko breadcrumbs fantastic things to use with uh, yeah lovely and uh, yes it's 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 all edible and all useful so don't throw your leftovers away probably not give it the dog yeah <laughs> well I've got two secret weapons in this round the first one which I fortunately haven't needed to use is an ordinary pan scourer which is just brilliant for taking the scales off fish it's much better than using a knife it's very easy to wash and keep clean. The other, the other secret weapon I've got today is a matter of revenge. As I've just been stung by a wasp, I thought I'd make a wasp trap. I take an ordinary bottle, ordinary bottle, cut the top off and invert it. A little bit of beer in the bottom. Wasps can't resist it, but they're folly because they drown in the beer. So that's my revenge on the wasp that just stung me. <laughs> well, it's the same ingredients as what I'm going to use. I use my rub, basically uh, same same ingredients put into a bit, a bit of a, a sauce. So I've just added some olive oil and some lemon just to drizzle on top when I'm serving it. But yeah, tasting pretty good. Nice and got a nice little kick to it. But yeah, should complement it perfectly as it's what was exactly the same as in the rub. So, okay, barbecuers, you have ten minutes left on your technical challenge. Ten minutes. I've just had a little look, it's not quite there yet, so it'll be off in a minute. Be ready in 10 minutes? Yeah, be ready in 10 minutes, yeah. Easy. Good. <laughs> Shoot your weapon. Just uh, in fact, a little bit ahead of time. Okay. This is going fine. Okay, barbecues, your challenge is up. The technical challenge has finished. It is time to present your fish. Okay, Alan, if you could present your gurnard, please. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. I think this is the herby of our three. Yeah, we've got the lavender. lavender. I've not had lavender. Lavender, yeah. that's yeah, right. Lavender yeah. fish, some unusual combination. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Enjoy. So what, what have you done? What have we got? We've got... Um, S simply, uh, simply cooked, but it, the the, uh, the secret is in the lavender, which should give it that nice. And how does the lavender get in? Is it on the top or is it? It's it's on the top. It's uh, it's dried lavender, pestle and water, break it down a bit. Fantastic. Right. Judges, shall we? Mm. The lavender brings out the sort of smokiness in it, I think. Mm. 
really no, nice play though, isn't Lab- it? Lavender is mm. not overpowering as at all. No. I'm mm. quite worried it would overpower. Mm. So. I thought it would taste weirder than that. Mm. Yeah. It actually doesn't. It, it clearly mm. does taste of lavender, mm. but it's really going yeah. mm. towards the sort of fishy, herby. You've got, you got thyme in there as well. Yes, there's thyme Probably. and uh, basil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. that's Excellent job. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Good, thank, you. thank you very much. But actually, let me just double check that I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> liked as much as I thought I did. Mm. Okay, Dan, if you could bring up your fish, please. So this is our um, the smoky mm. flavour. So we've got smoked paprika. We've got well, Dan, you tell us what have we got? We've got chili, smoked paprika. Uh, a bit of salt and pepper and chili flakes, chili powder, a bit of both, so it's gonna give the mouth a bit of a zing. It's quite and then uh, the exact same ingredients in the little drizzle on top there. So yeah, and it was smoked in the smoker, so it should be a nice smoky flavour. Obviously it only takes ten minutes to cook so it doesn't take on much of this but it's, it should be nice. It's I have to say impressive filleting skills. Mm. Yeah. Very impressive. They were, actually. I'm gonna dive yeah, in. Yeah, dive in. Go for it. Beautiful. Wow, that's well, oh. a powerful, mm. smoky but quite complex flavour. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the smoke through in that. And, and the, the chilli as well. <laughs> definitely getting My the eyes chili. are watering yeah. just a little bit. <laughs> I don't, I don't deal with hot <laughs> very well. Is that a thing? Does chilli give you hiccups? Yeah, yeah it does. Is it that hot? Long. I tried a bit, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right because I'm a man. So I'm, a I'm chilly, not. But <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I get what told are you off. Doing <laughs> <laughs> I get told off for doing this at home. I tend to make things a little bit too hot for everyone else. But my taste buds. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's too hot, but he's going back for more. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't tasted. I haven't actually tasted the fish yet. No. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's overpowered. Oh. You've got tomato in there as well, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that was um, <laughs> strong. <laughs> That's killed the taste buds. Where's that box of ice? <laughs> Beer? <laughs> Andrew, if you could bring up your fish, please. Is there any chilli in this one, Andrew? It's Indian. Ah, that's right. You, so you've used your own uh, homemade garam masala. Garam masala. Exactly. Oh, what a beautiful colour. Here we've got mm. fillet, lovely fillet gurnard, which has been marinated in uh, garam masala and then just uh, cooked on a seed plank. I've just made a little uh, Indian smoked tomato relish with it. Lovely. Divine, let's crack on. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm, mm. Sweet. It's got a sweetness to it. Mm. Um, mm. Which herbs have gone in the spice mix? There's about 14 different uh, herbs in the game. Can spices I have them in, in alphabetical order? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm guessing there's turmeric. Turmeric, that's, yeah. that's a tea one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit of aniseed, cumin, uh, thyme, coriander, um, chilli, black pepper, tiniest bit of sugar. Yeah, it's good. Um, as a as a well done. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm glad to see you use the ketchup as well. Yeah, People I'm not laugh, sure we really I'm needed the ketchup, but it's, um, it's for all demographics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Very nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Lovely. Thank Welcome. you. Right, Judley Huddle. Mm-hmm. Mm. Moderately pleased, I think. Um, Gurn is an interesting fish to work with because the fillets are uh, relatively close to the. To, to the body cavity, to the to the rib cage, so they come quite small anyway. But um, what I'm pleased about, I'm pleased that you've got a little bit of sweetness in there, and um, most important thing is, is that you can taste the fish. And you've got, you know, if it's a fish dish, you'll be able to taste the fish and not uh, just have the fish as a vehicle for a sauce. To be quite frank, between you and me, I like Allen's the most. Lovely. Not too well, unfortunately. I wasn't happy with the way I filleted the fish, and there were one or two bones left in there. I was quite happy with the flavourings, though, which uh, the judges gave good remarks about, so I'm reasonably happy. Good, I mean, I thought it went good. I thought I filleted the fish well. I think I cooked it right. It uh, flaked really nicely, so to me it was like perfectly cooked. 
fell apart but nicely and it held its held its shape well still uh, I think I maybe went over the top with the chili for me it was fine but I always get told this at home with my cooking I always go over killing the chili for everyone else my taste buds can take it but I think I made a few of the judges squeal a bit <laughs> uh, but yeah no I was, I was happy with it maybe maybe it overpowered the fish a little bit too much again I don't think so but we'll, we'll wait and see what the judges think so our second challenge done our technical challenge was fast hot furious and uh, we were very impressed though those, those gurners were beautifully cooked but we're going to give you all some feedback first and then we'll hear who actually won so first Joe if you could tell us about Dan's fish uh, Dan's fish um, we were firstly massively impressed with his knife skills and his, his technique and the fish itself was cooked absolutely fantastically a nice thick fillet um, he was slightly overpowering with the chilli um, a slightly less of it I felt would have just it would have been the perfect combination just almost just a little bit too much of it yeah. but yeah fantastic taste flavor look vibrant I was just yeah really good effort Thanks, thank you very excellent much. Jackie if you can feed back on Alan's gurners Alan again your gurners were beautifully cooked it was lovely and moist the use of the lavender was a, was was very different um, it was very pleasant and it didn't overpower which was wonderful um, so all in all really lovely job thank you okay. well done and Ben, if you could tell us about Andrew's. Andrew, we, we loved your dish. Um, we thought it had lots of complex flavours there with your homemade garam masala, added lots of different levels to the flavours of that. Um, yeah, beautifully cooked dish, well done. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. And so it only remains to find out who is this week's star barbecuer. <laughs> the winner of the second episode of the Great British Barbecue Offs and the technical challenge is... Alan, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Very well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well done. 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 Well